Welcome back, Gamer Nation. Stephen Thomas here with another episode of the FIFA 22 Drake FC playthrough. We are way through the season now. We are doing halfway decent. As you can see there, we're sitting in 10th with 50 points. Much better than I thought we'd do this season. I'm very excited about the guys. We've also had some people in, some people out. Uh, a lot of action here for a team that's trying to really move up. Again, our goal this year is to survive, and then next year will be to attack the championship. And hopefully we'll have some players that are higher up in the upper 70s to go with, and then we'll have to reach out. Maybe look at some teams who are going to be relegated this year and literally poach their players this year. We always say we're going to do it, but I think now we're in a position where we may actually want to do that, even if they come in as backups. But if you're enjoying this series and you support it, hit that like button down below. And if you've not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. It's free. It's free. It's me. Anyways, we got four great games today. We got Middlesbrough coming up first. Uh, I will always say it as Middlesbrough, which I'm sure is how you pronounce it because the way it's B O R O is how the town was near me growing up. But they spell Middlesbrough different with the B R O U G H. So who knows? Anyways, let's get right to it. We'll see who's healthy and who's ready to go. All right, Middlesbrough today, they've got Minchev and Gonkum. I know I'm saying that one wrong. They're up front. Tavernier, Crooks, and Payero in the midfield. Five in the back again. Bola, Romain, Romania, Paul, McNair, Spence, and Passanato in goal. Schofield in goal for us. Adiyeme, Comotillo back there starting. Lamb and Watkins in the back line. Noel Jego Bravo midfield. Morris, Cornick, and Fernandez up front. We are on the road today at Riverside Stadium, and it's raining. So this ought to bode awful for us. We're at Northeast England, it said. We're in Middlesbrough. That must be why it's raining. And we, uh, we'll see what we come up with. Oh, Norris. Oh, take it down. It deflected the pass. And the ref says nothing. Phil, all of a sudden, the game is like flying. Bola running, and he'll let it roll out. Move it up to Noel here. Noel will kick it over to Bravo. Bravo to Cornick. Cornick. Cornick with some space. Oh. Get it. Oh. Oh, that had to be a handball. And Edson. Yes. Edson Fernandez gives us an early 1 0 lead. What a pass in there. I think that was Jego that got the ball on the way down. That one, that one fan was doing this. It was. It was Jego, and he just finds Fernandez, and Fernandez turns, right foots it right past the keeper. And that's amazing to see. 1-0 Drakes, let's go. I like that I turned my sound down a little bit. Y'all got to see I was watching the, uh, the new Thor movie trailer. Walk in. Oh, bad pass there. I have a feeling, though. I mean, we're getting toward the end of the season, and I've been thinking about it. I have a feeling that I know Noel's going to be gone. Oh, there's another bad pass, but Noel will catch that off. I got a feeling that Jago may not be with us at the end of this season. So sloppy right now. And here's Cornick. Oh, he got it. The keeper blocks it. Cornick had another chance. He tries to head it in, and he just missed it. Oh. Could have been 2-0 there. And I'm not sure. I mean, our defense is going to be overhauled, and we know that we maybe get big offers for Schofield. We'll have to think about that. But he's about the level of the keeper that we need to move up, I think. Or at least keep us here. So there's a lot to think about. Pass in. They're in the box here. We knocked it a little bit loose. Edson Fernandez back there playing some defense, but he misses that one. And Lamb's going to come out of here with it. 
Passes it up. Nobody was home. And uh, Schofield, go over there and get that. Yeah, go to Noel. Noel to Bravo. Bravo, a good move there. They go to Edson Fernandez. He's trying to hit Cornick. Cornick does get it. Watkins! Oh! Oh, the right back almost got one in there. He had a great angle, but left-footed it for some reason. It just goes a little wide. Oh, another missed opportunity for the Drakes. Here's Bravo. He's looking. Gonna find Cornick. Cornick pushing. Oh, and Cornick went for the shot. They took it from him. And we're heading toward halftime, and there's the whistle. We'll go in. The Edson Fernandez goal puts us up 1-0. And we were really playing some decent football that half, I believe. Oh, my God. They work it back in the box. And it's deflected out. We'll get a corner on that one. He was even looking. Ooh, back heel there by Comotillo. Let's see about the delivery. Oh! No block, that was his face. Oh, and that's going to be a penalty kick, I bet. Oh, come on. It was a basic tackle. Comotillo, one great play. And now he does that. Oh, what a dive. Now Schofield's going to have to... He's going right. And he missed. I guessed correctly and he missed. Let's go. I will take that. We'll play this one up. Adeyeme coming in there. And Adeyeme, oh my lord. Bravo! Yes! Let's go! Pablo Bravo puts us up 2-0. That was some good play there. Adeyeme, after the foul, does a great job, brings it back out, doesn't push it, and Bravo just blasts it past. Bravo is a really good player. And it makes me worry what we're going to do when Van Veen comes up, who's worth, like, double him. All right, I'm going to do all three changes here. They're doing one change. Fernandez out, Koch in, Comotillo out, Brooking in. And then I'm bringing out uh, Watkins and bringing Ibrahim in. So Ibrahim going to get his first minutes. We'll pass it over to him, let him touch the ball. Ibrahim a circus uh, ball there. Here's Koch. Like I said, I brought Adams in. I brought Koch in. Might really be able to trouble them here. And Brooking. Oh, my God. I, maybe I didn't tell you all anybody I really brought in. Hold on. I brought in Brooking, Ibrahim, and Koch. I, I swear I said the wrong names. I think I told you I brought in, like, Adams. And, who knows? I've obviously lost my rocker. Cardona. Doing well to keep possession. Brooking. Oh, get in there. Oh, God. They still got the ball, and they're going to get one back. And this game isn't over yet. Oh. Brooking knocked it down. He had to come back. And just that, that bounce. That bounce is all oh, so awful. You do everything right. And then that happens. 2-1, no clean sheet. We've made our changes. The team that's out there is going to have to seal this up. We've got about seven minutes to go. That's brought back. We we'll hit Morris, Morris, the Cornick, and they'll go back to the keeper. And they're going to call the whistle, and we're going to escape with a 2-1 win. 
A hard fought game, but I think the boys played well here on the road and we'll take the first win of the episode. All right, looking at the uh, in-game recap, dribble success rate a little low for us. Seven shots to seven shots. Super equal game the whole way down. It just come down to their shot accuracy wasn't there. Neither was ours, but, you know, we got two in early, and that's what it took. All right, we flip around Birmingham City like two days later, so I've had to really overhaul the line. Adams Ribeiro getting a start today. Fernandez up front. Bravo there. Almeida and Jago with him. Adeyemi, Brooking, Lamb, and Watkins. And Schofield in goal. I've got a lot of the younger guys on the bench to come into this one. We're at home. Hogan, Lake, Lico, uh, Villaba, Sunjic, Woods up front. Bella, Friend, Dean, Peterson, Oakley, and Etheridge in goal for Birmingham City. All right, here we go. Let's see if some of the uh, younger people could show up today. We do have some veteran status out there. There's Adams. Here's Robiro. Oh, and Robiro taken down early. The referee once again picking a color close to ours. I want to call him an umpire. Good defense. We'll go to Bravo. Fernandez running down the side. We'll hit Fernandez. play Edson Fernandez the Ribeiro the wonder kid let's go oh my god what a setup there on the cross that was that was beautiful just got some space just a little bloop and Ribeiro waits on it boom oh my god that was an amazing play right there and I was wanting to know if they could show up. Well, they have already shown up and showing they can hold the road. Dude's valued at 2.3 million. That just went up. Man, Coach Thomas looks like he's got a tan. Here we're in the middle of like January. Oh, one thing I forgot to tell you all, I got offered a job in the uh in the German leagues, and I think I didn't even respond to it. I like set it to the side last episode, so I'll have to try to remember that after this episode. But uh, somebody offered me a job, but obviously in this save, we're not going to, we're not going to leave the Drakes. Man moves that up, Almeida. We'll go back to Almeida, over to Jago. Oh, a Jago. That's vicious. Oh, an immediate red card. And Hogan is out on the 16th minute. And it is just falling apart for them. That was brutal. And he knows it. Jago's running up the knot on him, but tell him it's okay. So we'll get a free kick here. And uh, that may really open things up. They don't make any changes, and that worries me. Ribeiro. Oh, they oh. lost it. Still young. I really need to go through and check all their training as well right now to make sure people are working on some of their weaknesses. And execution. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, and the cross is blocked again. Oh, and that one just goes to the keeper. Oh, this one's dangerous. Oh, they, they get it and knock it back. Bring it in. Bravo looking. He'll find Fernandez. Fernandez spins. Fernandez looking. There's a second go. And Fernandez, the assist master, finds Pablo Bravo. He frings it up. And a second goal right here before half. Let's freaking go. Just the first one was blocked. He doesn't give up. He goes back, finds Bravo, stops it, puts it in the back of the net. Keeper beat underneath. And the Drakes playing really good ball here toward the latter half of the season. Watkins. Watkins is growing on me. He's been doing well. Here I was talking about, I was wondering if like, 
I was wondering if the youth could lead this team and both goals today coming from the youngster Pablo Bravo and then the uh, wonder kid. Now the defense. Oh, and Schofield comes out and blocks it. And he is so upset about that. Movement Almeida looking over to Jago. He'll go in. Ribeiro looking. Bravo. Bravo takes a long shot. Oh, it's off the keeper. He couldn't hold on to it. Well, Fernandez running up. They're going to kick it out. And I think we'll go to a sub here. All right, we're going to bring in some of the youngsters. Schmidt in for Bravo. He's one of the guys on the transfer list. And another person coming out. It didn't really even show him there. Garcia. We played Garcia a little bit here, so he's used to it. And he's, I think, got an assist on the season. Oh, and they put that one in. Oh, and once again, we give up a late goal here going into the 80th minute. Ah, oh. that that deflection there. I'm not sure what happened. That just was a bad animation. That's that's happened a lot in this championship league. And Brooking didn't even try to block it there. Schofield just left defenseless. 2 1. All right, last change. Ribeiro, he's wore out. I'm going to bring Esposito in. He's a young guy. We're trying to sell him as well. And we'll just see if we can waste some time here. If we can waste this last 10 minutes. Lamb. Oh, they're going to call a free kick for them. So a free kick after Lamb used his arm to knock it down. He'll get that one back. Schmidt will pick it up. It goes to... Oh, they come back up with it. We got to play some defense here. We don't want to give it up right here at the end of the game. A few minutes to go. We just gave him a wide open window, it looks like. Oh, he missed the header. And we'll send that one up. Garcia. He'll hit Schmidt. Schmidt running. Schmidt. Took a big shot. It flex back, and that should be enough time to waste in the game. And they kick it forward. We'll touch it, and that's the game. A 2-1 win. We will take it. So a game that we really... Wow, we had more passes than them. We dominated that game. It should have been 2-0. They got that one lucky at the end. I... Wow. That was... I guess with the youth, we just passed better. Yeah. one, Two shots, both on target. Hmm. All right, so here's what I got earlier in the season. FC Colne offered me a job and wanted to pay me a base salary of 104000 per week. That had been a cool, crisp salary of $5.5 million a year. That, that's pretty nice. I'd like to make that in real life. You all can make that happen by hitting that sub button. <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, yeah, um, that was interesting that that actually come through the pipeline. So evidently, it's FC Cologne in English. And they're in the Bundesliga. So that would have been an interesting move. Like I said, if we were playing a different series where I went where the wins went with me, maybe I would consider that. But this is a Drake series, so we're going to stay with it. All right, Stoke City today. Brown and Surge up front. Etebo, Thompson, and Oakley Booth in the midfield. Dottie. Branson, Forrester, Wilmot, and Smith in the back line. Bursick and go. We're bringing out some uh, youngsters again today. Meshkov is, we brought him up. We're going to try to sell him, I believe. I'm trying to find him here. Yeah, he was worth 550000 So we have a goal over two years. We've got to make so many millions off youth players that we've called up. So he could be one of them. So he's along with Cornick and Koch out there. Shigari getting a start today. Nolan Jago obviously out there. Henny coming to make a start with Brooklyn Lamb and Ibrahim going to get a start as well. All right, we're at Stoke City or Stoke City FC Stadium. Interesting. 
And we've actually creeped up the uh, the standings with our last couple of games. Uh, so that is interesting. Like I said, I, I don't know. Uh-oh. Okay, he got up. Oh, and Shigari has broke through the middle. Oh, and it's just to the moon. And a yellow card for Surridge already. They're lucky it wasn't a red. I was just trying to make some notes down. Looked like Brooking must have been on the other side of that one. Oh, he wasn't. Oh, it was Cornick. Yeah. Ugh. Jago looking over here. He'll go to Ibrahim. Ibrahim trying to battle and hold on to it. No, I tried to pass it to the... Oh, come on. To the referee again. Jago, great move. Oh, he's tripped up. No call. Ref, have a word. Noel's going to intercept it. Noel gives it right back to him. We're all over the place. Henny will intercept that. And Meshkov running down the side here. The youngster, let's see if we can get him seen on TV. And there's the corner. Oh, what a defensive move. And we'll come over. And once again, I thought the referee was one of our players. I know they're changing the game. I do hope they change. Oh, no, fouled. I tried to pass to the ref again. We're going to go over here. We'll hit Ibrahim. Oh, and they're going to knock it out. And we'll get a corner right here before half. Extra time here. They're, they're shooting it down. Let's see if we can stop this. And Ibrahim, actually that's Lamb, does just that. So we're going to hit in a halftime, nil-nil. And it says subscribe on YouTube. All right, so I'm not sure how I'm even going to edit that first half. It was really wonky. There were some things that I talked a little bit. I might just show those. Terrible pass there from Koch. We'll see if we can bring something more together. Three points in this, and I may get in this from this game, and I may get antsy about there's a chance for us to make the playoffs. But there's a big difference between us and some of those teams that are in the playoff spot right now. Oh! Henny, he give him a Judy chop with his leg across the chest as he's going in the shoot. Okay, the replay didn't have his foot go up his high, but it was like he kicked him chest level. And they'll get a penalty for this. So Stoke City a chance here. I'm talking about three points and I jinx myself. You get the shorty shorts on. He's going right. Oh, Yes! Let's go, Schofield! Called it. Oh, man. Schofield worth his weight in gold. Push it in. Try to pass it to the ref. We'll hit Cornick. Cornick thrown off. Cornick again thrown off. And they just, they're not calling anything, really. And so the game goes back to kind of a stalemate. They play this one forward. Let's see if uh, Noel can get to it. And he does brilliantly. We'll play this one up. Shigari running. Shigari has passed his man. Shigari tried to cut and they'll get to it. We're fighting for it. Tired bodies out there now. Neither team getting a break. Matebo plays that back in. Jago trying to play defense. And that's at a dangerous spot. He needs there, and then Schofield makes the save. All three subs coming in for us here. Meshkov off. Heaney off Ibrahim Almeida. I put him in there so quick, I don't even remember. And now we're going. I put Morris in. 
And I think Adeyemi. There's Almeida. Oh, I just tried to pass it to the ref. Oh, oh Lamb, bless your soul. And let's hit Morris. He should be super fresh. Bring it back. Had a yemi. See if we could steal three points here. Cornick. Crowd going crazy right now. Shigari looking. Shigari turning. And Shigari's just going to lose it. And that was probably our chance. And I'm sure the ref is going to blow the whistle right here. Both teams played hard today. And they're both going to walk out with a point. Nil-nil draw. Pretty even down the path. Again, we didn't pass that well. 97% success rate for them. Two shots to six. I think they kind of won the first half, and we maybe won the second half. All right, Sheffield United today. We'll put Morris, Cornick, and Fernandez up front. Bravo, Nolan, Jago in the midfield. Adeyemi, Brooking, Kumutio in there for Lamb. Lamb is on international duty. And Watkins over on the right. Schofield and go, of course. They put Brewster up front. Osborne, Ndaye, Kalubali, Willick, and Norwood in midfield. Lowe, Robinson, Gordon, and Sariki. And Verips in goal. They are a few spots ahead of us. They are trying to get into the playoffs. We're close somehow. We got them at home. The referee is Josh Smith. I went to school with him. We'll see what happens. All right, Drake's Sheffield United. We'll see what we could do here. A beautiful wet day. Exactly what we've got. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And the focus is very much on live. They're playing up on us. Stuart, what are you expecting? This could be as is always the case. Oh, that was close. This could be a big oh god, I didn't want to go back that far. And that for me is the area that's key today. We'll turn it over. We just held the ball too long. I knew that was gonna happen. We kinda we passed ourselves out of trouble, and that's something that happens when I pass too much. They've got a man way out front. It's Brewster. He used the hot hand last time, but Jago's going to come up with that one. We'll go. Oh, that was just off just a little bit. Tried to hit Cornick. Oh, and Morris. Ah, oh, Morris. And Adeyemi's going to dribble it out of bounds. We'll head that one forward. We'll lose it. Koulibaly comes up with it. Oh, Brooking. Brooking. Oh, great defense. I may not be great at offense on this game, but I feel like I'm pretty decent in defense when the game doesn't screw me over. Let's see what we can get here. We'll bring somebody back to him. Fernandez looking. Tried to squeeze it by him. It's not going to go. Oh, Pablo Bravo. Oh, they've lost it. Great play there. I need some people to get on side. Oh! oh the threat is there. He cuts it back. Hey, that's going to be a goal. Let's go. Cornick puts it in. We go up 1-0. Oh, my God. This could open up some doors for us. That was all due to Pablo Bravo stealing that. He picked it, and he comes through. He stays on his feet, and then just hits Cornick. Beautiful pass, and just a beautiful deflection to put it in. Splits. Oh, he had that. He just moved too much. Let's go, Drakes. God, I love these uniforms. Interception by Jego. Pablo Bravo looking. Pablo Bravo holds on. Pablo Bravo is such a good player. Gonna hit Cornick, and we're gonna strike. And Morris tried to chip it over him. It's because of that bad first touch. Oh, it was just too far. If he would have got it there on that first touch, it would have been a goal. Brewster pushing it up here. Cooley Bali, Brewster, and oh god, oh my lord, Schofield, get on that. Oh no, we got a hurt player here. Looks like Brooking. We'll let Comotillo dribble this out. Try to get some space. Hopefully it's just a bruise. 
Come over here. Oh, Morris gets his pocket picked. Winding down here the first half. Brooking is still here. He's still injured. He's not staying in his line. They're looking here. Osborne, he goes in and saved by Schofield. And we will go into the halftime locker. One up nil in the lead. We'll definitely check on Brooking and make sure he's okay. I don't think Chelsea would be happy if we hurt one of their players. All right, I did go with the change. I moved Adeyemi from left back over to center back. He's never played there. And we took Booking out, Brooking out, excuse me. And we brought in Henny to play left back, left wing back. Oh, Watkins comes up with that. And we'll get the ball. Somehow we'll control this. Bravo. And Morris, Morris puts it in. Let's go 2-0. Oh my God. We, we may actually be in the playoff hunt. Morris moved over to left wing because of Edson Fernandez. Puts that in. And the Drakes are playing crazy out of their minds right now. Great shot by Morris. And I love to see that he actually gets a goal over on that side of the field. Change for us. Almeida in for Noel. Noel played well today, but he's just getting tired. Coming toward the end of his career. I think there's six games left after this one, maybe. Ibrahim in for Watkins. They're going to make... They're taking Brewster out. I'm shocked by that. McBurney in. Warner to come for him. Looks like they're going to bring over a short man. Oh, we got that. Can Bravo, Bravo doesn't come up with it. Yeah, go there. We'll reset it back somewhat. Henny looking forward. He's got Cornick. Cornick sends it across. The keeper comes out for it. Tried to hit Fernandez, but that may waste the clock. And it looks like we're going to pick up three points here. And the sky is the limit. Because when we look at this table, and there's the game, that is three points and two better on the goal difference. I'm kind of in shock right now. Looking at the match facts. Somehow we come out of that. 59 passes is pathetic. I just don't even know right now. Don't even know. I don't even know how to decipher that 2 nil win. All right, we got a youth player who is unsettled, Carlos Acuna. I believe he's a midfielder, so we'll definitely just bring him up and probably list him for transfer. Yeah, his max is 72, 76. That's fine. We were just working on him. We will bring him up and sell him, put him on the transfer list because we, we got to make money off some of those players, and that's it's a, it's a market. You know, you got to – we'll do that. So we'll just add him there. And overall, just the players who are on up for sale are not happy. Shigari, yeah, he's transfer listed. So we'll get some more offers for him probably as the season winds down. So looking at the calendar for the rest of the season, we got Peterborough. And I think they're trying to stay out of the relegation zone. Then we got QPR, Nottingham Forest, Cardiff City, Reading, and West Brom, and that's it. So what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, I think what we'll do is on the next two episodes, we'll do three games apiece. And then that'll leave the, the end of season thing for us. So that's interesting. I'm I'm let's take a look at the rankings. So this is not something that I expected. Norwich and Fulham running away with it. They're probably going to be promoted. West Brom, who will play coming up. Nottingham Forest, who we play coming up. Are all in the playoff hunt, and we are one point out of the playoffs. Not sure how that's possible. 
Heart of City, I think, we got coming up. There's Reading, their mid-table. QPR is at the bottom. Peterborough trying to survive. So we got two teams near the top half and two teams at the bottom half. And I don't remember the other one. Swansea, I can't believe, is down there. QPR, there's another one. So Peterborough, QPR, um, Reading, bottom half. And I think we got what? Who did I say? Preston, maybe? I don't remember now. There's QPR. Nottingham, they're up top. Cardiff City, so they're mid-table as well. Okay. So, yeah, that is where we stand right now. Um, I don't know what to say at this point. Do I think going to the Premier League is possible? No, I still don't. Even if we got in the playoffs, I don't think we make it through. I, I really don't. So we'll just have to see what happens. But we're going to end the episode here. Leave me your comments. Let me know your thoughts, burning testimonies, and all that good stuff. If you not hit the like button, hit that right now. But as always, thank you all so much for watching. God bless. And don't forget to make good decisions. It's going to be May. Special thanks to these May Patreon supporters. If they were a nightlight, I'd turn them on before going to bed. Party Commissar, Eccentric, Zachary McKinley, Kiana Handy, The Least Expected, Nicholas Abser, James Matisse, Azure Rain.